Ciao friends, I'm Andrea and this is Ravi. In this episode, we will take you with us to Saint-Jean-de-Luz, share some of the most amazing food we tried there and show you the beautiful sights. So please stay tuned. By the way, if you're not subscribed yet to our channel, please consider doing so to get notified on our next videos. The Basque region is a desirable vacation spot. If you are debating whether you should stop at Saint-Jean-de-Luz as part of your Basque tour, this charming town is well worth a visit. The seaside town has preserved its authenticity through its heritage, from its whaling industry that has contributed to the city's prosperity, to becoming the base of the Basque Corsairs, the famed French pirates with a royal mandate in the 16th century, it's a place steeped in history. It's also the place of the royal marriage between Louis XIV and Maria Teresa, daughter of the King of Spain, that put an end to a long war between France and Spain. The famous ceremony took place in the church of San Juan Bautista, named after the patron saint of the city, one of the largest churches and most representative of the Basque country. Getting there by car is easy. It's 38 minutes from San Sebastian and about 30 minutes from Biarritz. If you are driving, park in the paid garage outside of the main area. For reference, Place Louis XIV is the main square of Saint-Jean-de-Luz. And you can walk on Rue Lyon Gambetta to get there. The street is lined with artisanal pastry and clothing stores. We recommend that you start your visit there and enjoy the original offerings while taking in the gorgeous Basque architecture with the characteristic timbered houses. Head to the main square, Place Louis XIV, a pedestrian-only area where artists and artisanal vendors display their products and where tourists and locals alike like to take a patio seat to relax and dine. Take your time to visit the square as you may find treasures to bring back. And don't forget to stop and admire the colorful timber houses, some dating from the 17th century. To take a break from all the walking and sample the local food, we had lunch at Café Restaurant Le Suisse and the food was exceptional. Just like other parts of the Basque country, the food is fresh and features regional specialties like seafood and the best pâté and wines. Try a charcuterie board to sample products from the area and for your main course you can't go wrong with either seafood or meat. Don't live without trying the Gâteau Basque. From the center, walk toward the Promenade Quai de l'Enfant. When you pass between the Promenade and the pier, you can see Maison de l'Enfant, a pink-toned Venetian-style building that once housed the daughter of the King of Spain in the days leading up to her wedding. Then continue walking to the port. Classified among the major French ports, the port of Saint-Jean-de-Luz, once the center of whaling and cod fishing, has given way to sardines and tuna fishermen. After the port, head on to the main street, to Maison Castellou. This place sells Basque specialties that come from the multi-generational family-owned farm Puzia. There you will find anything from regional wines to pâté, rillette and boudin to charcuterie and cheese. A stop here is a must to stock up on things to bring, because when in the Basque country, the best gift you can bring to people is food. Close by, you'll find Patisserie et Chabaster, which is a must-try. According to locals, this place sells the best gâteau basque, which means basque cake, and we do not disagree. 
We picked up a nice cake to take back to our friends who were hosting us in Arcachon. You can try the classic or other flavors here and see which one you like before buying a big size. Maison Adam is another famous and beautiful pastry shop dating back to the 17th century that once supplied macaron to the king himself. They sell the famous Basque macaron and Gâteau Basque, so make sure to visit it to try the royalty-worthy sweets. We hope you liked our content. If you did, it will help us a lot if you could subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up.